okay so there's a lot of ask on regards to how to grow your handstands and how to make your handstands more smooth so I wanted to show you um, a couple of drills over the next couple of days of different handstands you can do that can build the work that you need to create a solid handstand against the wall but also off the wall and show you how to pull that off the wall as well so these are all small drills that i have been doing i've been doing handstands for about three four years that i've just placed back into my practice to make a more solid handstand make better alignment to get my lats and serratus anterior into line um, to create that corset of strength but also that mobility of movement at the same time so we forget a lot of the time that our foundational movements are the keys to our success. A lot of us think that foundation is for beginners, but foundational or beginner movements, whichever you want to call it, are actually the key and stepping stones to solid um, long-term movement, solid advanced movement, and success where we avoid injuries. Because once we understand the foundations, just like we understand foundations of grammar or math, we can do much more advanced movements without getting lost or um, detouring on the wrong direction because we follow mostly um, the right patterning to create the movement. A lot of the time we can't do things is because we don't have awareness. So the first movement I'm going to show you is a tuck handstand. The tuck handstand um, is in a ball and it's against the wall. You're going to look at lining up your shoulders, tucking your knees to your core, wrapping into your corset, lifting up your arms without too much height as well as opening the window back so you have a full alignment with your head back in alignment with your hands so a lot of the things that go wrong here is that you come away from the alignment of your shoulders you have this rounding of the back and you tend to push way too far up away from your arm placement so really extending out rather than wrapping your corset back and pushing back opening the window and the other thing is that you tend to move your head around in the wrong direction which puts instability so the first thing is to always understand your hand your head is in between your shoulders so here it is in between my shoulders however what you're doing is actually tucking it in to create more movement putting your head back and in to create more movement now what you can see is a rib flare here, so we need to take that rib flare out by bringing our ribs back in too. And this is your alignment for your handstand. So a lot of what happens is this. So we need to take it down into, so we have a nice strong neck, pushing away, wrapping our arms without overexerting, and bringing our arms back and then decreasing the rib flare. So all of that in total, we then need to look at putting our knees to our chest, tucking them in firmly. We're going to utilize the wall while keeping that alignment so our arms don't come here or way over here with the rib flare. And at the same time, if we want to come off the wall, pointing our feet will help us to come off the wall without changing the position at all. So I would suggest doing five reps of up building up to 20 seconds, um, then you can build up to one minute if you want. So bring your hands in alignment with each other fingers spread wrap your arms squeeze your arms in lifting up here onto the wall now here is not in alignment my arms are not in alignment here is not in alignment here is in alignment my head is up pushing away and now i'm bringing my knees down while i'm pushing my hips up nice and tight from here you're holding for 20 seconds if you have the ability you can point one foot and then the other foot taking your feet off I didn't change anywhere here, all I did was point my feet. And this holding this position is going to create a lot of strength and stability into your handstand and also great alignment. So all you have to do is firstly work the alignment, you could use a video or a mirror to make sure you have that straight arm alignment. Then once you feel comfortable, when you go to take your feet off, all you need to do is point, nothing else changes, point your feet. Keep pressing your knees in as you're lifting your head up, closing the window without the rib flare and keeping that head up and the handstand will come into a lot more solid alignment with endurance in your shoulders. So give this a try, um, thumbs up if you like and subscribe, share it away with other people. Thank you for joining me, have a great day. I'm bringing you the next one tomorrow.